found a let us share this sacred story. A sacred story that will remind you of many times that you've gathered around the Lord's table with the Lord's people. Keeping in mind that this feast, this bread and wine is not just for us, but it's an invitation for all to share. It's an invitation for us to be empowered, to be restored, to have the Spirit of God breathe again into us so that we can go from this place and share that sacred story with family, friends, neighbours, strangers, and even enemies. God of fresh bread and new wine, we sense your presentness among us. In grace-filled moments of sharing, in carefully created communities of loving solidarity in holy times of birthing new life amid all suffering. We delight in the moving of your steadfast spirit, demanding that we find water for the thirsty, demanding we prepare meals for all who hunger, and encouraging us to welcome all in our midst. As we share this meal, may we be nourished by the dangerous memory of Jesus and his friends, who dared to feed those no one else would feed, who included the sinners that society shunned and oppressed, who drew healing energy out of the people past hope of healing, who heard the cries of people dried up and desperate and nourish them with living water and life-giving bread. This daring community uplifted the power of justice and righteousness. And we say together, may this daring community embrace those who are searching, longing, and aching for acceptance and love. Let's gather with our prayers for us. Thanks, Jesus. Let us pray. Almighty Father, who has given thy only Son to die for our sins and to rise again for our justification, Grant us, though, to put away the thoughts of malice and wickedness, that we may serve thee in pureness of living and truth, through thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Lord Jesus, the light of your life shines on. Your light has come into the world. Neither darkness nor evil nor death itself could overcome it. And we, like Mary and the disciples, who have been with you during the Holy Week and the Resurrection story. It's not always easy to believe with our minds and trust with our hearts. Loving Christ, open the eyes of our faith that we may behold the work of your redemption and know our sins are forgiven. May this time of worship be a worthy response to your love and your sacrifice for us. Let us remain ever beside you at the table of the Last Supper, doing all that we do in remembrance of you and the way you work when you walk with earth. Lord God, we continue to pray for Ukraine. We ask you to be with all, the, all especially tro- children who are suffering the war in Ukraine as we, and the war in Ukraine deteriorates. We pray, Lord, for those who are anxious and fearful, for those who are bereaved, injured, or who have lost their lives, also for those who have lost, lost loved ones. Show the way of peace that is your overwhelming presence. God of love and freedom, as Anzac Day is tomorrow, we bring our thanks this day for the peace and security we enjoy, which is won for us through the courage and devotion of those who gave their lives in time of war. We pray that their labour and sacrifice may not be in vain, but their spirits may live on in us and in our generations to come. 
We pray for the families who have lost loved ones to the COVID-19 virus in the last couple of months. May you be of comfort to them, also to the thousands of people recovering from the virus. We hope COVID can be kept under control in the coming months as restrictions lessen and our winter draws near. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's pray together. Life giver, Life giver pain, pain bearer, bearer love, love maker, source of all that is and that shall be, Father and Mother of us all, loving God and the new in heaven, the hallowing of your name and the echo of the universe, the way of justice is followed by all the things of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on the With the bread we need for today, lead us. And let us be absorbed from one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and test, strengthen us. In trials too great to endure, spare us. From the group of all the things we need, free us. tradition says that on the night that Jesus was betrayed by for his dreaming and daring and healing and according to the rules of hospitality and meal customs Jesus took the bread and he gave thanks and looking at his friends he passed it around to them and all of them symbolizes human lives interconnected with other human lives and the power of giving and receiving prepared and shared and blessed for all and then Jesus took the cup of wine and after giving thanks he passed the cup to his friends and all of them drank of Holy One, we remember the death and the life of Jesus and the many committed faithful people then and now who have kept alive the dangerous memories of fresh bread, new wine and living water, prepared and shared and blessed for all. We say to you, May our lives give birth to your healing power in us and among us, that turns water into wine, their tables into feast, outsiders into love for friends. Together we may be made all next year. Together we may be made all of presents here in the land of us. God makes peace within us. Let's claim it. God makes peace between us. Let us share it. Let us greet one another as a sign of God's peace without getting up, without shaking hands, without taking your masks off. <laughs> Turn and offer the peace to one in a way. <laughs> Twinkle in the eye. Peace. <laughs> in a long time. Getting up and going, sharing the peace with one another trying to get you back. <laughs> Challenge. It took me a while to realise, have some music ready, Colin, so as soon as you feel it's time, get the musician started to play. And even then, the music brought us back. This bread of compassion and hope, this cup of blessing, of new life, these are the signs of a loving community, a community of hope. 
God shares this bread and wine with us as we are called to share it with one another and share it with the world. Bread and wine shared for us. I invite you to take and eat the bread as you receive it and hold on to wine and we will drink that together.